it's Chris. I've had a lot of viewers ask me if there's a way to power your 18 volt Ryobi tools with an AC adapter. So I took a look at it and this is what I did. It turns out that Ryobi makes a power supply for their 18 volt water pump. And we're gonna use that for this example. The P750 PS power supply has a XLR female connector on it. I just went on to Amazon and ordered a bunch of male XOR connectors. And I'm gonna take it up, I've got it apart here and I'm gonna just wire it up with some 12 gauge wire. And then I'm gonna connect it to a old carcass of a 18 volt battery. I'm using some of this really flexible silicon wire. It's, it's very nice, this is 12 gauge. Should be uh, the uh, cord coming from the power adapter is 14 gauge, so this is even heavier. Just going to strip the ends here. So this is an 18 volt, 8.3 amp, and the connector here is the plus is on the one pin, minus is on two. It was a little tricky holding the connector to solder, so I just used a wood clamp to hold it. I've put a heat shrink tube on it. I'm going to heat it up and shrink it. So I've put the case on the other plug to make sure the pin's going straight. And I put this, this is a screw on cap and this is a spacer. And you have to make sure there's a gap that goes over the little tab here. Push these in, and then this screws down so the back is screwed on. And now I have the power supply, XOR, and the one that's going to go to the battery, the male connector. I've got a 4 amp hour battery carcass that I got out of the recycle bin. And I'm just, I've cut out the BMS board and I saved the terminals. And we're just going to solder onto the plus and minus. And I have to drill a hole in the back cover here. here. I put the wires from the plug through the hole and I just did a, a nut so it doesn't pull out. Now I'm just going to solder it to the terminal contacts. Got the terminal adapter connected to the wires. I've got it soldered and I'm going to put heat shrink over it. I've got the terminals heat shrunk connected to the wires. Now I just got to insert it into the case here and we'll screw it together. This case has T10 security screws. But I just have a Harbor Freight kit. Now I haven't male XLR connector connected up to an old Ryobi battery and we'll test to make sure that plus and minus are correct. 
I've got it plugged in here and we'll check it with the voltmeter and we've got 18.26 volts I've got the Ryobi power supply from the pump and it's the female XLR connector and I've made the adapter with the male XLR adapter it goes to the Ryobi old battery and I can now turn the fan on Got it hooked up to the LED light. It wouldn't work with my old drill. It just drew too much power. Well, it looks like this works for low power tools. If this was helpful, please hit like and subscribe, and have a great day.